Hello children! I am Teacher Melissa and our topic for today is all about the facts of the environment on the life cycle of organisms. Effects of air One of the abiotic components is air. Humans, animals, and plants need air to survive. Air is made up of essential gases that living things need to endure, like oxygen and carbon dioxide. If the air becomes polluted, it will be hard for living organisms to grow well and reproduce. Exposure to polluted air will cause coughing, asthma, and diseases of the lungs among humans and animals. Air pollutants decrease the ability of plants to make food through photosynthesis. A mix of air pollutants and fog produces a smog which makes the air difficult to breathe, which is also bad for the lungs of humans and animals and not healthy for plants. When pollutants in the air combine with water, it will produce acid rain which damages the leaves of plants, pollutes the water in the rivers, lakes, and seas, and harms the animals living in water. Effects of Space Living things need space, not the outer space, but actually an actual space to live and breathe. Overcrowding, especially in animals, can result in stress and diseases. Thus, it is not good to the health of the organism. Lack of enough space will result to the following. First, lack of food. When there are too many of the same kind of animal plants competing for one food source, Second, wandering. Some animals will go to other places in search for food. Outside their habitat may be harmed or may harm others. And third, disease. Overcrowding may spread diseases faster. Next, the effects of sunlight. Sun is a very important environmental factor in the ecosystem. Without the sun, life will not be possible on earth because it is the source of light, energy, solar power, heat, vitamin D, and ultraviolet rays. Next is the effects of water. Water is very important for survival of living things because Plants need water when they manufacture food through photosynthesis, the process where plants transform the energy from the sun into food. Humans also need fresh water for organs to function. Water makes our bodies absorb vitamins and minerals from the food we eat. It also helps to regulate our body temperature. We use water for drinking, cooking, washing, cleaning. It is also used in growing food and producing electricity. Animals also need water that provides a breeding ground or temporary home for animals which spend part of their lives in water like frogs and some insects. And now, we will have an activity. Write T if the statement is true and F if it's false. Write your answers in your science activity notebook. I hope you learned something from our topic for today. See you in our next lesson. Goodbye!